All right, we're gonna take a look at how to cut a 100% Aramid rope. So as you know, Aramid's property is you can't use a, a heat gun on it like we're cutting nylon or anything like that. So a lot of times we start getting these things all frayed out and, and things get a little goofy. So a lot of people try very scissors and they make some huge like Kevlar clamps and stuff like that. So we've been trying a bunch of stuff. So what's worked out really, really well for us is we'll show you is a little bit of electrical tape and then we went to Lowe's and got this Lennox Gold uh, X-Acto knife and out of everything and all the money you can spend, actually probably the cheapest option is what works the best. And then we'll show you two options to kind of finish it off. So the first one, we're gonna get a little bit of electrical tape and I kind of pre-cut a little bit over here. So we take the electrical tape and you can use duct tape, but we found that electrical tape will stretch a little bit more, which is pretty beneficial. So we'll go up in here where we're gonna make that cut and we place it to where when we roll it, it's tight enough that you can actually see the uh, sheath uh, threads come through there. So you do it really tight and kind of work it up about out to here. All right. So we're gonna make that cut and on this, we almost use kind of a, basically a sawing motion, if you will, and kind of make our way through this. This is a nine mil, so it's a little bit thicker to, to cut through. And then that's our cut and it's pretty clean so how you finish it it's kind of up to you uh we've done a little bit where we've dabbed just a tad bit of shoe goo or seam seal on, on the end of that and you can just have a little bit come out put it on your finger finish that tip out just like this and let that dry what probably works a little bit better although it requires a little bit more is we got some a heat gun and the tubing that goes with it. So on ours, a lot of times we'll be finishing it just by no shoe goo, the tubing over, and heat gunning it in there. And it also allows you to, to put in what the size of your rope is, and uh, you can even put your control number and things like that onto it. So that's how we finish it. A little bit of electrical tape, Lennox Gold, saw right through it, get a good finish, shoe goo it, or heat shrink it.